Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Damani Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the fillet tool in SOLIDWORKS and come up with tricky workarounds for tackling the most problematic of fillets. My name's Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Damani Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at the dreaded fillet error. I'm sure most SOLIDWORKS users have seen these two error messages. Fail to create a fillet, please check the input geometry and radius values, or try using the face fillet option. Or, the radius of the fillet is too large to fit the surrounding geometry. So despite these cryptic error messages, the fillets are usually failing for one of two reasons. Like we saw in the theory video, the software may be unable to extend one or more faces along the path of the fillet, thus giving the fillet somewhere to end. Or perhaps the fillet is too large for the sounding geometry. It might be only too large in one spot along the fillet path, but will still cause the whole fillet to fail. So there is hope. So we, are, we know that fillets fail because they need better faces to work with, so there's some techniques we can give our models uh, those better faces allowing those fillets to complete. So I have this part, it's a section of a customer part, I cut it away and re-imported it into SOLIDWORKS for confidentiality reasons. Um, so I need to add a quarter inch fillet along the edge in blue, however SOLIDWORKS gives me an error message. So I'm going to add a quarter inch fillet along this edge. I don't see the preview, this is probably going to be a bad sign when I go to add the fillet it fails. I've seen a lot of SOLIDWORKS users do this. I presented this in, in person live before many times and there's usually you know, half of the people in the room put their hands up when I ask if they're guilty of, of just changing the fillet value and trying the fillet to complete. In this case I know that the fillet will probably build at 0.22 inch and there we have the fillet but it's not the correct de design intent. We really need a quarter inch fillet on this edge. So I'm going to suppress this uh, smaller fillet, and I'm going to—I have a theory. I'm guessing that the software may be unable to resolve the fillet in this corner here, because along this edge, it's—it's it's two faces. It should have no problem adding the fillet. So I'm going to cut that portion away from the model and test this theory. So I now have a nice clean edge, and if we examine this feature here, that quarter-inch fillet applied to the edge, no problem. But I now have this corner of the model cut away. How might I go about restoring it? This is where the delete face tool comes in. So what delete face does is remove faces from the model. In this case I picked these three faces and with the delete and fill option, the tangent fill box checked, it actually generates a surface fill over these, uh, these edges and cleans up that corner. So there we go. Now you, you may note that my graphics display looks a little bit different than yours. Um, the reason being is under view uh, display I have tangent edges as phantom. Uh, edges as visible is the default. Note that all edges are solid. However, I prefer working this way because I can instantly know when edges are tangent or when they're not. If I turn the tangent fill option off, you know, everything looks pretty good here, like I patched that corner, but if I go back and go view display edges as phantom, we'll see that these edges are actually hard. So to recap, I needed to add a quarter inch fillet to this edge, but I got a fillet error when trying to do so. I can have a smaller fillet complete, but that's not the correct design intent. I really need that quarter inch fillet. So I'm guessing that the complicated corner may be causing issues for the fillet and so I'm removing that from the model. Then the quarter inch fillet can easily complete. And finally, I'm using the delete and fill option to remove that from the model and create this nice smooth corner. If you do want to work differently, you can use tangent edge display. It's under view display, tangent edges as phantom, or under system options, display selection, part assembly tangent edge display as phantom. Another way we can go about solving failing fillets is rearranging the fillet order. The order that fillets are applied to is important. As a rule of thumb, it's always best to go from larger fillets to smaller fillets. So here we have the same example as before, and we're going to try rearranging the fillet order. In this case, I have fillet 4 here, which is failing at that quarter inch value. And so if we look back at the way the fillets were applied to this model, you'll see that I added these small fillets first and what I probably should have done was apply the larger fillets to these edges. So let's grab fillet 2 and move it to the end, fillet 1, move it down the tree. 
and it looks like fillet 2 is failing. The reason being is I no longer have that edge that was previously being filleted. If we take a look at fillet 4, what I want to do here is turn off tangent propagation, having the fillet stop at this edge. And now we see that when I go to fillet this edge here, fillet 1 comes up and then we have this other edge that can be finely filleted with fillet 2. So if you do have failing fillets, try and look at the order they were applied. Uh, larger fillet should always come first because smaller fillets have the ability to kind of resolve themselves over these um, tricky areas. One thing I may want to do here is use that delete face tool with the tangent fill option and remove four faces from the model and clean them up with a single face. So by rearranging the fillet order, we can have complicated fillets complete by remembering larger fillets before smaller fillets. Another way we can sometimes have failing fillets complete is turning off tangent propagation. I'm not exactly certain why this works, but it does. So here I have another example of an imported geometry cut away from an actual customer part. This is a real world challenge I faced. And I need to add a fillet to this edge here. Now that fillet completes. The reason being if I go to apply the quarter inch fillet, you see the software thinks for a while. I don't get a preview. If I click OK, the fillet's probably not going to complete. Fail to create fillet. But if I turn off tangent propagation and manually pick the edges in the fillet, I get the preview and the fillet completes. So I'm not certain why this works, but sometimes it does. The downside being that you would need to pick all of the edges in the fillet path and by turning off tangent propagation I'm able to add the correct fillet to the model. So sometimes we can uh, use tangent propagation to uh, add failing fillets to the model. It's kind of hit or miss but it's something to put in your arsenal and try. So thanks for joining us for this installment of Will It Fillet. Please follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn where we'll be announcing new videos.